Hello everyone, uh, as you can see today we would have this nice Mank 163 uh, Comet. Um, I would say it's a relatively recent kit and this kit was a quite surprise because it's uh, the first proper kit of this airplane in 30 second scale. Um, it's like considerably better than Hasegawa's kit which was previous standard. Um, and of course it employs all modern technologies which can be used in plastic kit productions. So as you can see kit is supplied in this nice box. It's not white color, it's just a sleeve which will be removed during our review. As you can see it's all white. But then we slide it out and we have a proper, let's say, proper face of this kit. As you can see, you now we see this interceptor uh, with the American bomber on the back plane. And everything is mentioned here, it's precise presentation of cockpit interiors, weapon systems included, rocket engine provided with full detailization, ammunition, uh, fuselage can be uh, opened, and for example, no cement would be needed to join them, uh, this front and rear parts and support frame is provided to show interior detail. On the sides we have a, a representation of all marking options included into this kit. As you can see here we have this, um, it was uh, the fighter which was caught by rough forces and used for the evaluation. On the sides we have some information and here we have two more marking options. Uh, Spurts fighter and also Brandis fighter. So this is pretty much all for today. For this, now let's open. Not for today, of course. So we open the kit. Uh, we have all those extras which would be used in upcoming build, and of course you would see detailed review soon as well. Um, okay. So we have a bunch of screws here. Let's check them one, one by one. <clears throat> okay. So we would open this with a knife. I forgot to take my scissors with me. We would use a knife. Okay. So here we have a first screw, which contains wing parts. As you can see, the airplane itself would be quite big. I mean, it had huge wings and short fuse, which we all remember, but took on those wings, which are almost like my hand. So it's really nice. As you can see, it has separate uh, flaps, ailerons, and air brakes, and also front sweats. So you would be able to position them. I hope in whichever positions you want. Uh, molding quality, as you can see, is quite good. Riveting is simulated here. Mm, I think, yeah, it's visible on the video as well. And on the inside, uh, we don't see any detailization of the wheel wells because there are no wheel wells in this airplane. Uh, attachment points, as you can see, are also quite thin, but for example, uh, these parts are not quite understandable why they are present here. Maybe just for safety reasons to preserve these parts during shipment. Anyway, quite nice molding quality. Uh, let's move on. Next, we have a sprue with fuselage parts.
which is also interesting because because of the molding quality and because of the digitalization which is much better than the single skip as I said before. So we take it out. Here we have the fuselage parts. So now we see them properly. As you can see, as it was mentioned in the beginning, the rear part and the front part are molded separately, but anyway, they would be able to close and open. Here is the canopy frame, which is molded separately. By the way, check this out. I mean, the handle is molded all together. Uh, back part has this. Uh, ribs on the inside, really nice inclusion. What else? Nose cone is molded as a single part, so you would have less seams, of course. And the same parts for the left side. And those, I think, are front sweats. This is an, that's a nose propeller, and on the inside, there is approximately nothing. Uh, let's move on. Another interesting sprue. This sprue would be interesting for us because it contains uh, cockpit parts, engine parts, almost all small parts. Here you can see them all. I mean, molding quality is absolutely no doubt. Uh, it's excellent. No flesh, no other possible damage from molding process. Plastic is thick, but I think it would be easy to manipulate it. Okay, next screw contains some cockpit parts, uh, gun bay parts, as well as um, this special stand for the engine. Oh, dashboard has this nice molded, nicely molded dials, but also there is a special version of the dashboard which has plain surface. I think that would be used for the P. Guns are molded, I don't know why, into house, as you can see. But at least gun barrels are molded as a single part. I mean, there is. No, I would say nothing special in a good sense because uh, we have nothing to complain about. Just excellent part, and that's all. And there are two more sprues left. This one I think would be dedicated to the gun bay and some control surfaces. Also really nice detailization even here or ribs are simulated. And nothing on the inside. Nothing special I would say. There is one more sprue made from the black plastic. which would be used for the landing gear. I 
Oh shit here. Also really nice detailization. I would zoom it in. Yeah, now we see this part. Wheels. Everything is provided here. Really nice. Then we have a clear sprue, clear part sprue, where clear parts are packed not only in the back as usual, but also they are packed in a special layer, special film, which is protecting parts from scratching. Here you can see the canopy, dashboard, I think. Uh, some other canopy parts as well as target side. Uh, as it was not in the beginning that the canopy frame is provided separately from the canopy so for some it can be a good reason to make it easier to paint. Of course first you paint the frame and then you paint the canopy. I mean, you just glue them together with a canopy for your part. Canopy. Uh, then we have a rubber wheels provided. I don't know why everybody was complaining on the wheels. I mean, in every review you could read that everybody is complaining. Of course, we have this um, not so nice seams on the protector but otherwise it's a really nice wheel uh, no sight uh, no writings on the wall as they say but still good there are also polycaps provided as a separate part and there is one more big next we have a manual which is um, Designed in this horizontal fashion, as you can see, but instructions are given not in horizontal but in vertical fashion. Assembly instructions are quite easy to understand, and all cover options are provided with detailed schemes, and covers are given in Vallejo covers. There are also two PE frets, uh, which I would replace with the Duart PE, of course. But I mean, anyway, it's nice to have those PE frets straight out of the box. Nothing from the other side, of course. Then we have a decal sheet. It's printed in cartograph, so that means. The quality would be really excellent. It's a bit hard to remove from the back. Uh, so we have it here. As you can see, bright colors, quite sharp letters. I don't know why is there not much of stencils. Maybe that was, uh, let's see main quality of the real prototype, but anyway, the quality of the printing is really good. I really like it. And that's pretty much all for today. I think there is nothing left. You saw those sets, those extra sets from Edward, uh, Montex and HGW in the beginning, and they of course would be used in our upcoming build of this model. So, and I would also publish detailed reviews of those sets. Anyway, thank you for watching this particular review. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more. And also use subscribe button on our Facebook group. Because you would know all the news first. Thank you for watching and see you soon.